All right, here's gonna be a cool little demo that will show you how you can integrate your Git with Spinnaker and have Spinnaker integrate with your Jenkins jobs so that you can build fully integrated deployment and delivery pipelines. Now, in order to do this, we'll take a look at the build and deploy pipeline that we have in our Spinnaker application mainstay. To look at the configuration of this pipeline, we'll click the configure gear and take a look at the configuration stage here. Now we see that it has an automated trigger that says if there's any sort of code changes to the mainstay project inside of Git, that will trigger the Spinnaker pipeline automatically and take a series of stages to get that code into EKS. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the trigger that came in from Git and actually capture the Git hash that we receive inside of that trigger. Now that value that we have here, we're then going to pass along as a property file into our Jenkins job. So our Jenkins job will run with our git commit hash. Now once this stage is completed and that Jenkins job is done, what should happen is we'll have a brand new container, we'll have that container tested, and Jenkins will push that container into our Docker registry. At that point, based on the information we receive back from Jenkins, we'll then extract some variable values that we have here, such as build information number from the previous Jenkins stage, the environment or namespace that we want to deploy this container to, and the property file contents here so that we have that information as well to use in our deployment. The next stage here is the deploy manifest stage inside of Spinnaker, which will then collect an artifact, which in this case is the deployment YAML with a service, and leverage that metadata that we have inside of the Spinnaker pipeline to input into these values inside of our manifest. So it'll fully hydrate the manifest with the Spinnaker data that we receive from Jenkins and Git. Now, in order to kick this pipeline off, we can simply come into our mainstay application that we have here. And in this case, just for a simple demo, what I'll do is I'll come in and change the response that we have for a slash to our application. So I can put something like Jenkins plus Spinnaker is great. And upon me actually committing this code into Git, what we see here is that we've automated that trigger just as we saw in the configuration. We've extracted the Git commit hash, and now we're working with Jenkins. Here we see inside of Jenkins, it's cloning the repository, building an image, testing that image, and then pushing that image to our Docker repository, and then creating a property files to send back to Spinnaker. Once this job completes, what we see here is that we have all of that information that we've passed, so our git commit hash, we have our Docker build, uh, we now have our hash for our Docker repository, and we'll actually deploy to dev with that metadata, allowing you to see the fully hydrated manifest and annotations here inside of Spinnaker. At this point, we've inserted a gate, a manual judgment, that allows people to stop the delivery pipeline at this point, make any sort of approvals or testing or uh, additional validations that they have to do to the code inside of the development environment. And in this case, we're just gonna go ahead and continue which will then create a change request in ServiceNow. So that's the pipeline in action. If we actually take a look at the infrastructure for that deployment that we just did, we see inside of our dev cluster that we have here, we have our namespaces, all of our replica sets and information, events that have happened inside of that namespace. We can also look at the individual pods that are running inside of the EKS namespace. So provide developers quick access to uh, those pods here and information through the console. Uh, the ability to take um, deployment actions, such as uh, automate the rollback of a given version of code. And we also have access here inside of the Spinnaker UI for developers to see their actual external ingresses inside of AWS. And in this case, I can go ahead and make a request there. And as we saw inside of our code change, Jenkins plus Spinnaker is great. But one last thing I'd like to show you is that not only can Spinnaker automate the triggering and the kicking off of Jenkins build jobs, but you can use those same build jobs as an integration point into Spinnaker. If we go into any pipeline inside of Spinnaker and we click on the automated triggers to add a trigger, we see we have a lot of different sources we can use to trigger a Spinnaker pipeline. Select Jenkins and through the API integration, you'll see all of your Jenkins controllers available and all of the build jobs you have inside of that Jenkins server to kick off a Spinnaker pipeline. 
And that's how easy it is to integrate Spinnaker with your current Jenkins CI workflow, either as an automated trigger or using Spinnaker as an automated fashion to start Jenkins build jobs. And this offloads your team from plugins and scripts and allows you to deploy to any software target.